Good morning. We are currently 84 hours fasted. And today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to do a full day of eating while we break our fast. And we'll get this day started right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So this week, it is currently Thursday morning. It's about 7 a.m., so we are 84 hours fasted. We did a 72 hour community fast that started on Sunday at 7 p.m. Which was awesome. It was awesome. We were live streaming every day for it. And then I kind of mentioned to Rachel yesterday morning, hey, like I feel really good. I really don't want to break my fast at 9.30 at night, which is when we were going to break our fast at somewhere around 74 hours or something like that. Right. And I'm like, what do you think about going till tomorrow morning? And at first I was upset because I still was having my coffee headache. Well, you had gone 72 hours without coffee. And was crazy. So once I got my coffee in me, I felt totally better. And the mental clarity has been amazing on this fast. Just, I feel so good right now. So I think if I get to keep my coffee starting at noon, I'll be okay. So if you haven't been following us, our 72 hour fast was literally water, salt, electrolytes only. We weren't allowing ourselves any diet sodas, any teas, any coffee, even black coffee. And if you're new to our channel, Rachel's a little bit of a coffee fiend. I am a total coffee addict and it definitely hit home when I fasted that coffee because I was going through caffeine withdrawal on top of doing the fast. So right. once I got my coffee back after the 72 hour point, now I feel great. Yeah. And so what we decided was that we were going to extend beyond 72 hours. We're going to break our fast today when I get home from work, which will probably be somewhere between one and two o'clock. Yeah. And, uh, but the deal was is at 72 hours, which was last night, Rachel was going to have a coffee and I was going to have a soda or some kind of a drink other than water. Uh, which I ended up having very late at night, a grapefruit Zevia. I love that grapefruit Zevia. It's really good. So yeah, hey, by the way, look at this. So in the middle of our fast, I have a science experiment going that's gone too long. I started some uh, kefir cheese, which was supposed to be milk. Ugh. And uh, I mean, you could actually just keep letting this going, but now I'm never gonna be able to find the grains in here. I'm gonna have to strain this out. But I started it. it. Smells like yogurt. And then we were we started our fast, and it's been going so long. It is like it is pretty much yogurt at this point. It's chunky. But the grains are in there, so I'm gonna have to. I'm pretty much gonna just toss this batch because it's a week old. It's been in the refrigerator. It's been fermenting in the refrigerator. But I've got to somehow find the grains and start a new batch. But because it, the plan was to kill the fast, and now we're not killing the fast until tonight. So. In the meantime, for breakfast, the boys have some steak sous vide. Well, yeah, for well, they're gonna eat it for lunch, but I started in the back there. So, so I'm gonna head to work, and then what I'm gonna do is when we get when I get home from work, we're going to have a bullet. I'm gonna take a shower first, please. Then I'm gonna we're gonna make some bulletproof bone broth, which if you haven't seen that, we released that video uh, late last night. Uh, there's a link right up here. And that is how we make our bulletproof bone broths. And that's exactly how we like to break our fast. We add different things in there to help you out, like some cream of tartar, which is going to give you some potassium replacement, uh, some coconut oil, which is going to help you kill off any bad gut bacteria. So if you watch that video, you'll see why we have everything in there. It's a great way to break a fast. You don't want to break a fast with a big heavy no. meal. You're not going to feel that great. We have learned that the hard way. Yeah. So we're going to break our fast when I get home with the bone broth. Then we're going to head to Buffalo Wild Wings, but we're going to bring them home, right? Yes. So we will check in with you guys throughout the day. What are you doing, sir? 
I am making blue cheese dressing for tomorrow because it's always better to make it the day before. I mean, you could make and eat it right away, but the longer it sits, the better it tastes because the blue cheese is soaking into everything. And this is super easy to make. I mean, again, if you haven't seen this, we have the recipe on our website, but it's literally sour cream and then we have our homemade mayonnaise. And if you look, this mayonnaise is a little yellow and that's because we're using pasture-raised eggs and the pasture-raised eggs have like, you know, a very yellow uh, yolk. Then I've just, just got some fresh ground black pepper. I've got some salt and garlic powder. I'm gonna put in a bunch of Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Right? How do you say that again? Worcestershire, is it Worcestershire sauce or Worcestershire sauce? <laughs> I don't know. So it's usually about a half a teaspoon. I'm just gonna put a bunch in because I like it. We'll kind of give that, start giving that a little mix. And then we like a lot of blue cheese. Yes. A lot of blue cheese. I want it chunky. So, I mean, we ran to the store and we got this because we were out of the gorgonzola in the house. This is from Walmart. Usually we like gorgonzola and we peel it off, but there's no right or wrong amount. I'm going to pretty much use most of this. So what I'll do is I'll just start kind of mixing it in and then just keep adding until it's like the chunkiness that I want. And then we're going to put it in the refrigerator. I really want to taste this right now, but we're fasting. We are so close to eating, just one day away. One more day. But I think this is gonna be awesome with the wings. Now, obviously, we this is a double serving of ours. This will not last. As soon as the kids see this made, especially Anthony, I don't think Caleb is too much of a blue cheese dressing. He's a ranch guy for the most part. He's a ranch man. But yeah, I'm gonna put all of this in. Just look at that. Sometimes I actually like to add poppy seeds too, but I don't have any. That is better than restaurant quality. Yeah, look, I mean, you can just see. And again, it all comes down to how much blue cheese you want in there, but we want a lot of blue. But look, that is chunky blue cheese dressing. No bad ingredients. I mean, bottom line, what's in this? Mayonnaise, sour cream, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and Worcestershire sauce. That's all, and then blue cheese, obviously. So that's all that's in this. But like I was saying, this is more than enough than we need for our wings. We're only gonna use a little bit. Remember, very high in fat, very high in calories. Really great way to add your wings, which are super high protein, so you can up the fat. But when Anthony sees this, this will be on everything he eats. It's gonna be on his burgers, on his chicken. He's gonna eat it by the spoonful. Like this will be gone before the end of the weekend. Okay, so like I said, that blue cheese dressing won't make it. It's literally been prepared for five minutes and Anthony already has it on his plate with some leftover steak. It really goes good with steak though, right? Mm -hmm. How is it? Since we can't taste it, we have another good. day to fast. It's good. So is that the best blue cheese dressing ever? Is there a better one? Maybe Wings Plus, but you just need to go get poppy seeds. That's it, yeah. Like I said, That's sometimes so I put poppy seeds that. and I just don't have any, but like flavor wise, and yeah. again, you're you're eating that five minutes after we made it. It's always better the next day. Yeah. Good morning. This is the first. Good morning. Are you ready to go another day? No. I am. I'm not going to, but. I feel good, but I don't want to not eat. I don't think it's good to just not eat forever. I'm ready to eat. But it's kind of weird that I could probably go another day, but I'm gonna stop here. I feel like I would like some flavor. <laughs> okay, so it is eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. I have to go and fix a window for somebody. It's just one pane of glass, and then I'm gonna go do the computer. Look at Tabitha. I couldn't, I, I was getting the, I was petting Tabitha, the wrong end. What are you doing? <laughs> Tabitha, sit. Everybody likes to see you. Tabitha. You're so beautiful. Let's see how tall she is. Let's call her up. Tab. She's mommy sized. <laughs> okay, Tab is off. We're gonna hug a little bit. So what are you doing today? Okay, so I'm gonna go fix a piece of glass. I'm gonna go do the computer. I will be home by noon. And then we'll make a bone broth and we'll order a buffalo wild wings and then bring it home. Sounds good. 
Okay, it's 1220. I'm home. Let's go get Rachel so we can go get our wings. Are you ready? It's 12 o'clock. You are so late, it's sir. It's 1220, actually. You were supposed to be home at 11. Well, we had to fix a window, and the glass company cut the window too small. Too small. And so we had to go find another piece of glass. I'm going to go to the other side because of the way the sun is shining on you. So, yeah. So, here's the thing. It's 1220. Or you're not even ready. I haven't even taken a shower. You And you're yelling at me that I'm late. You should have been ready to go at 12 o'clock. This is probably true, but I had a bunch of errands to run. Okay. Well, here's what I'm thinking. 12 o'clock, which is what it is now, obviously, that's 113 hours. I don't like that number. I'm thinking it's it needs to be number. like, I'm thinking it needs to be a nice, like, I don't know. How about 115 hours? <laughs> Let's just, it's two hours. By the time you go take a shower, I go take a shower. Right. It'll be 1.30, we'll drink a bone broth at two o'clock. Okay. And then we will order the wings and we can drink the bone broth on the way to get the wings because we're gonna bring them home, right? Yes. And the blue cheese dressing is in the fridge, ready to go. Look at this woman sauntering into my she shed well she is a girl charity hey lady what are you doing furring up the she shed so what do you think so i think i have no alternative so it sounds great well then get up and let's get in the shower and we can also talk about like our thoughts on this fast okay are you ready for this i am so ready we have done it 115 hours and six minutes. I can't believe it. I can't believe we've done this. And honestly, I could keep going. I am ready to keep going. I could do another day, except for I've kind of put in my mind, we're getting wings today. I was gonna say, that's where I'm at. I feel good. I don't feel wonky or anything, but I've been promised wings today. So my mind is like, no, 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 no. We need to stop. If it wasn't for the fact that I have four lacrosse games tomorrow and then we have church all day and we have to film keto on the couch tomorrow, I would probably go another day. But that means that I would not be able to eat until like nine o'clock tomorrow night again. And yeah, so we're going to end Crazy it talk. right here. But I know that I could go longer because it's amazing. I'm not even hungry. And I'm not even hungry at this point at my normal eating time where you were getting that little surge. What about you? Same here. Moving forward, this is really going to be something that I keep in my mind when I'm intermittent fasting. Yeah. That I really honestly don't need to eat every single time my mind says, I think we want something. Right. Maybe it's just a suggestion. Doesn't mean we have to roll with it. Okay, so I really wanted to quickly, before we drink our bone broth and officially break our fast, I wanna check my ketones and I can tell you where I started. So I started out on Sunday after church, I was 189 pounds, which was actually up for me. I think I was holding on to some water. Um, it was, I was 189 pounds. My ketones were a 0.4, which is normal, and my blood glucose was about an 85. Wednesday, was it Wednesday, where my weight had skyrocketed all the way up to 198 pounds. No, it was Tuesday. It was scary. Tuesday, it had skyrocketed all the way to 198 pounds, and I was starting to freak out a little bit because that has to be water weight. You hadn't eaten in 60-something hours. So yesterday I had ketones as high as 3.1 and we're going to check mine now and then we can check yours as well if you want. I absolutely want. I don't know if I really felt that one, but okay. Because for me, I started out on Sunday at 150 pounds. My ketones were a 0.5. And I don't remember what my blood glucose was. I want to say it was in the 80s. I put the wrong side into the blood glucose monitor. Good job. Okay, so blood glucose. Let me squeeze out a little more blood here. Wow. Okay, so my blood glucose on the monitor is a 54. And we'll go ahead and check the CGM as well. This is a new CGM, so it's usually much higher. 
So my blood glucose here is an 80 and my ketones are a 6.9. I have never, that's a first, ever, ever seen ketones that high, ever. Yeah. And I can feel it though. I mean, again, burst of energy, almost like my brain is moving faster than I can even think. It's light speed. It's ridiculous. So like I said, I was 150 pounds. I'm 139.9. So you've lost 11 pounds, 10, almost 11 pounds. Yeah. Now, obviously some you're of not, that is water yeah, weight. Yeah, you're not going to hold on to all that. So don't get excited, Rachel. Right. But I definitely needed to clean out. So again, my, my ketones were a 0.5. And um, I, I really think my blood glucose was in the 80s. I feel like your ketones were a 0.6 or a 0.7 when you started, no, which was still very low for you. Very, very low for me. So I definitely needed needed some spring cleaning. I need so, another glucose strip. Some early spring cleaning. Okay, I got a glucose strip. We'll go ahead and put this in. Better. Oh, I like stick in the air. Prick my finger. Oh, I had one right here. It was just turned upside down. I didn't get it very good. The one thing about the Freestyle Libre blood glucose monitor is it does require a lot of blood. Okay, so we'll do blood glucose here. Ketones. I feel like your glucose is probably really low. Wow. So Rachel's blood glucose is a 36 at 115 hours. And your ketones are a 7.5. Zero. Wow. Okay, we're gonna break our fast. Wait, Ooh, we gotta hot. we gotta do this. We gotta hit the life app end, right? Yeah. We should be on the same here. Okay, so we are ending at 115 minutes. Oh wait, we gotta wait for 13 se uh, 115 hours and we'll wait for 13 seconds. I've got four seconds. Three, two, two one. one. Hit and that button. Congratulations. We fasted for four days, 19 hours. We should have gone for five days. Four days, 19 hours, and 13 minutes. Cheers to you, friends. Cheers to you. So we are breaking our fast with the video that we put up the other day. It's a bulletproof bone broth. Video's right up here. Um, we're using kettle and fire. We're using beef bone broth. This is a chicken one. This is actually the coconut curry and lime one. It's really good. Um, I really like the beef one because it's higher in collagen. Mm. That is delicious. That is awesome. So wow. we have in here, we have some coconut oil. And for two reasons, the long chain fatty acids are going to help kill off, kill off any gut bacteria, bad gut bacteria that we have. Then you got the MCTs to give you even more ketones, like we even need any. Like we need some of that. Nice and nice and smooth on like your liver. Nice on your tummy. Mm -hmm. Not gonna upset your tummy. We've got some Redmond's Real Salt. We've got some cream of tartar. The cream of tartar is gonna help give you some potassium back. A little Cajun. And then we've got, yeah, some cayenne pepper. The cayenne pepper is to kind of speed up our metabolism a little bit, though I don't think we even need that right now, but kind of speeds it going because in a half hour we're going to order our food or we're going to order our food in like two seconds but and then what else do we have in there we have some turmeric and that's just oh, anti-inflammatory why it's so yellow yeah anti-inflammatory uh antioxidant it just tastes so good so that is really delicious we are going to call buffalo wild wings right now we're going to go buffalo wild wings recent i don't want that I, Buffalo Wild Wings is on speed dial in my phone. How bad is that? Yes, I'd like to place an order to pick up, please. Can I get a platter of 50 wings, please? I'd like half of the spicy garlic, and the other half is going to be uh, salt and vinegar. I'd like them extra wet, like extra seasoned, like a lot of extra seasoning. 20 to 25 minutes, which we will be back home in 30 to 35 minutes eating our wings. Here we go. First meal in 116 hours. Let's pick up our wings. Well, hello, beautiful. You just got sexier, young man. Nice. 
Any guy holding chicken wings? Yeah. That smells amazing. Amazing. Okay. We've got a tray of 25. Salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar. Oh my gosh. Oh. The vinegar almost like burns your nose. It'll it clear you out. It smells so good. So we have that. And what we like to do is we don't feel they're crispy enough. They aren't. Which is why we like to bring them home. So we use, our, we have like a toaster oven that also has an air fry setting. We put like them in a tray, lime foil, and crisp them up a little bit more. And then I put mine in the air fryer so we can eat at the same time. They're so good. And we also have a tray of the spicy garlic. Spicy garlic. 25 of those. And then what we do, so we're going to put like whatever we're going to eat like on a tray. So are you a flat person? I kind of like them both. It just kind of depends. So what are you? Put in the comments down below. Are you a flats person or are you, what are they, a drumette? Drumettes, yeah, drumettes. Are you a drumettes person? Which do you like better? So what we'll do is we'll just crisp these up and then we actually have some of the sauce and the salt and vinegar. We have extra of it. Because when it comes out, it's not as saucy because you've been it cooking it up more. Baked in. So we like to have some extra to just kind of re-sauce it up and stuff. So we'll start off with like 12 a piece and then we can always heat up more because this is going to be our only meal for the day. Yes. But And what a great meal it is. What a great meal it is. I'm sure you're going to have salt and vinegar, right? Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. So we're going to have one right now. We're going to stick the rest into the oven. And then what we'll do is we'll check in with you guys. I'll just have a salt and vinegar. We'll check in with you guys and kind of wrap up this vlog and our final look at the cat. Cat's like, what do you have up there? We'll wrap up our final thoughts on the 115 hour fast. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Mmm. Buffalo wild wings are so good. Oh, wait a second. We got so excited about eating. Yes, we forgot the blue cheese. Put a little, just a little spoon on me. Look at that. Look at that blue cheese. Where'd my wing go? Oh, it's this one. Oh, wow. Yeah. How do you make perfection even better? Right? Wow. Ridiculous good. Mm. This wow. is inappropriately good. Wow. No reason to use the Buffalo Wild Wings blue cheese. It takes so little time to make ours up and you Tastes got so good ingredients. On, it's great on burgers. It's great on salads. It's just great. Eggs. Mm -hmm. It's really good on eggs. Now I'm going to get ugly chewing on the ends of these. We got to turn off the camera for now. Yeah, we're going to check in with you guys after we're done eating. It's nice and cool out. It's, we're having one of those cool evenings, like 95 degrees down to like 65. So my hair is a hot mess. I, I'm wearing pajama pants. I undid my hair. Like I was ready to break this fast with a chicken wing eating marathon. I ate 10 chicken wings and I thought I was going to explode. So we each have 25. We, we normally eat like 18 to 20 wings when we do Buffalo Wild Wings. I had seven wings and I'm stuffed. I mean stuffed. Like six stuffed. Like yeah, six stuffed. So maybe we'll have a couple more a little later, but we're gonna just enjoy some time. We're gonna watch some TV. The kids are going out to like a youth group event. So we have an evening alone before like the gauntlet of lacrosse game starts tomorrow morning. So what are your three takeaways from this fast? My three takeaways from this fast. Um, well, first of all, like I am like super shocked that we went almost five days. I mean, I when we started the fast, I was, you know, we've done 72 hours before we can do this. But there was like a part of my brain that was saying like, this is going to stink. Right. Like, not being able to eat until Wednesday night, having to have like lacrosse games in the middle of that. Like I, I wasn't looking, I was looking forward to it, but I wasn't looking forward. Does that make sense? Like you were thinking if I could just take a nap 
and sleep through the 72 hours, that'd be fine. But if I actually have stuff I have to do, there's no way I can go 72 hours. Yeah. So my first takeaway would definitely be that I'm amazed at my body and the fact that I was able to not only go three days, but at the end of the three days, look at myself and look at you and go, I can do another day. Yeah. And then at the end of that day, go, I can go another day. And then honestly, when we got ready to eat today, and now based on the fact that I only ate six wings and you only ate 10, I know that I could have gone another day. That is such a win when I look back five years ago into our life. And I can remember thinking, if I don't get all five meals of the day, like if I don't get three meals and two snacks, I'm not going to make it. And that was carb thinking. Right. I, I just wasn't going to make it. And now to go 115 hours without eating a single thing and not just being okay, but feeling great. So what would your first takeaway be? My first takeaway would be probably I need to keep coffee in its place because I would have enjoyed this fast so much more if I had allowed myself to have coffee because I am so addicted to coffee. Right. And it pains me to say that. I love coffee, but it doesn't love me back. It just wants more and more and more of a place in my life. So I've got to keep it in its place. I'm definitely going to push back the time that I have coffee at least until noon every single day to just kind of try not to let it have my entire morning because I am certain that I am drinking an entire pot before, you know, afternoon comes. And I don't, I don't want to do that. Right. Cause I think it can get out of control. I do think that if I do another fast, I'll probably will allow coffee in it just so that I don't get that headache. Right. Yeah. For me, I look at, we're not saying that coffee is a bad thing. But I think caffeine is definitely a major part of our life. And as somebody who is a soda drinker, I drink my coffee, but I'm also a soda drinker. I get a lot of my caffeine, whereas Rachel drinks a lot of coffee. I drink like a couple of cups a day. Now, granted, they're big cups. They're right. these big, you know, like we even the, the, cu the mugs that we sell on our website are 15 <laughs> ounces. And that's a small mug for us. Like we want 20, 25 ounce mugs. But I drink one to two of those a day. But I make up what Rachel is drinking in coffee. I make that up in caffeinated soda. Thanks and for that. And I definitely, you're welcome. Not just like putting me out there as like the crazy caffeinated lady. I definitely had an issue and it definitely helped me to realize that through this fast that, hey, you need to control the soda because yeah, the worst part of those first three days was only having water and not having anything else. No zip fizz, no flavorings, no nothing like that. But once I allowed myself, okay, you can have a Zevia, like that's when I kind of got like, you can go like five more days if you really want to. Right. Like, Cause that changed everything. Getting that caffeine back, my headache went away and I had the burn in the middle of the whole thing. Yeah, that's like a bonus takeaway is don't put hot water into a blender bottle and put the lid on. Now, I did forget to say before we get into our second takeaway, I think earlier when we were talking about like where we started, and where we ended up, I forgot to mention. So I started at like 189, which was actually a high for me. On Tuesday, I got all the way up to 198, which again, that was like 60 plus hours, no eating. So you know that that's all just like water and electrolyte imbalance. And I finished up today before we had our bone broth at 184.5. So it's a five pound net loss but really from Tuesday that's like 15 pounds 14 pounds down from where I was on Tuesday now you know it's all water weight I mean there's some fat in there but there was a significant water weight I just hope that's an encouragement to people out there not to quit when you don't see the scale results that you want. Because if Joe would have rage quit this fast the moment he saw 198 on the scale, and I applaud you for not rage quitting because that's really frustrating. Yeah, because I've got this feeling like I better never ever ever see 200 pounds on that scale again, ever. You know, like I worked so hard to get down to 182 to 184 pounds and just to see the 190s was bad enough, but when I saw it creeping up to 200 and not eating, I was like, what is going on? So just hang in there, 
with what you're doing, you will see the results that you want, but you got to hang in there. Even outside, she's got to get in the picture. She's got to get in. She loves you guys. So, so, okay, so takeaway number two. Takeaway number two is I need to drink more water because I had water on this fast and that was all that we could drink it. And for the first 72 hours, that's all I drank. I didn't even have coffee. I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. I actually liked it. And we have the Berkey filter and oh my gracious, what a taste difference. To me, it is the difference in water as Redmond is to salt. Yeah, I will say that was a huge investment. Yeah. And it was actually one of our subscribers that asked, that encouraged me to get it. She was thinking about getting it. And and so I started thinking about it. And I'd looked at it in the past, but it is a big investment. But I will tell you, if you're serious about changing your health, seriously 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 consider getting a Berkey there's actually a link down below we even have a coupon code for it because we really have become passionate about it but it tastes so good the water is ridiculously clean I mean it takes I mean the way you even test to make sure it works is by pouring red food dye into the water and seeing if it comes out and if it comes out with any tint of of food coloring like then the filters aren't working right and they'll replace the filter I mean they're a great company But the filters are good for a long time. It works out to be like two cents a gallon for your water. Now think about if you're buying bottled water. Right. How much are you spending? And they have different sizes based on like how much you need. But we were going through three and a half gallons a day on this fast. And we probably should have even been drinking more. I mean, that was between all four of us. But it's just been great. We don't buy plastic bottles anymore. Which it, is the nice. one we got even came with like some glass bottles that you can take with you, or we just put it in our, you know, stainless steel bottles. But our, it tastes incredible. Our teenage boys are in love with it too. I mean, Anthony and Caleb don't even drink a fraction of the soda that they used to drink because they like the taste of this water so much. Yeah, and it, again, it was a huge investment. I, I want to say it was like $300, but when you think about how much money were we spending on bottled water, you know, 4 or $5 a case, drinking a few cases a week, and still not drinking enough because you don't want to spend 4 or $5 on a case of water, and then you're adding in plastic bottles. What are we doing to the environment? Having to go to the store, the estrogen like from the plastic leaching into the water. I mean, all of that in here, you just fill up the stainless steel thing, let it drip. An hour later, we have three and a half gallons of filtered water. And then we store some in glass bottles in the fridge. So that was really awesome. The glass bottles that they have, does that come with the system? They have different packages where some of them will come with the glass bottles, some don't. They, oh my goodness, that water comes out so cold. I have to drink cold water. Yeah, me too. That's why it's always in here because I need to drink cold water. So that's, yeah, that's definitely a good takeaway. For me, my, my number two would be on a similar thing is really watching my electrolytes because... We've always talked about electrolytes are so important. Make sure you're getting electrolytes in. But obviously, I was overdoing my electrolytes, and I wasn't drinking enough water. And so an electrolyte imbalance could have a positive effect on the scale. It could have a negative effect on the scale. So if you get it just right, you're going to have a great weight. But don't drink enough electrolytes. Your body will start retaining. Drink too much your body will start retaining. So you got to find that balance. That's why... For you. You've got to... Yeah, you got to find the right balance for you. There's no magic number. Like, we can't say, well, you're going to have three licks of the salt lick and two squirts of the keto child drops, and that's going to be the perfect thing. Yeah, I was definitely really sucking down on that salt because I wanted to eat, which there's nothing wrong with that. But I was doing that and then drinking less than I normally do. So... I always am sucking on that salt lick, but I'm usually constantly drinking a Zevia, some kind of water, like some kind of sparkling water. I'm always, I probably drank 50% less during this fast than I normally do, but then I was increasing my sodium intake. So that kind of shows you what that does. So just work with it, work with your body, learn your body. Once you got it right, whoosh, it went. Mm Mm-hmm. Number three, final takeaway. My final takeaway is my food and the time I eat is not the boss of me. I'm the boss of it, which is so refreshing as a food addict. I can't control it. I do have all of the strength that I need 
to make good decisions. I want to make good decisions. And I'm going to have to stop listening to my mind that says, when I'm bored, when I'm happy, when I'm sad, no, now is the time that we're going to eat. No, I'm going to make a plan for myself and I'm going to eat at that time when I feel like it is appropriate, when I have intermittent fasted to, um, you know, what I want to do, what's on my plan. And also, I'm not alone in this. So I don't have to listen to my mind and my cravings and that, you know, what is it, ghrelin um, hormone telling me, you got to have this right now. There is no negotiation. It's not just me and my mind talking. There's other people in the keto community that I can talk to when I'm down. Yeah. And that is very, like, liberating. Yeah. So for me, I think my final takeaway would be, I guess it's it's a similar thing, and that would be, I really learned when my key moments that I want to binge eat are. Because I would go all day, I'm not hungry, I'm not hungry, I'm not hungry, and I would sit down at that computer, and it wasn't very long, it was like three or four minutes, I, I want to eat, I'm hungry, it's time to break this. Maybe I can cheat just a little bit, nobody will know. Yeah. Then when I went to my first game on that Tuesday, or no, it was the game on Wednesday, when I had to drive to Miami by myself, which was an hour and 20 minute drive to my game. That's a long time with no accountability. And it was a long time with no accountability because the most of the rest of the time I was either with you right, or I was with Anthony. There was always an accountability person there making sure that like if I knew I couldn't eat because somebody was going to see me and anthony would call me out on it i mean yeah. one day we went to wawa and i brought my big giant blue cup in and i was filling with water and as i walked up to the soda machine he was like i thought you can't have soda and i'm like no, no I'm, I'm just getting water you know he's the keto police he was definitely the keto police it was a good thing but so driving to miami that would normally be the time i'm eating a bar i'm bringing a drink and so that was another time where i had thought about hey maybe i could just have a little bit of a cheat and then I also learned that, you know, like the times of the day where I normally want to eat, which I figured out was like three o'clock and eight o'clock. So both of those times every single day up to day three, I wanted to eat just for like five or 10 minutes. And then once I got past that, it went away. I would go lay down. I went and took a shower. I worked on the computer. I did something to take my mind off of eating and it went away. Because it will go away. It does go away. It's just hormones. But by Wednesday night, all of that stuff went away. Thursday, I never once thought about it. In fact, I made steak for Caleb, right? I yeah. cooked for the boys. I made our blue cheese dressing, and I never once even thought about tasting it, getting hungry. Even down to, like, when I made Caleb's steak, normally you would make it, and then you'd get a little stuff on your finger, and you would, like, lick it off. And I picked it up. I'm like, oh, nope, can't have that. Like, didn't even think about that motion of normally where you would taste the food that you're cooking. Yeah. So it's funny how, yeah, three days, all of that, I've reset when I'm supposed to eat. And my final, my bonus takeaway, and I think you can say the same thing, was that we have an incredible community. We that, do. That our channel and that the keto community in general is incredible. Watching the support that you guys have, the support that you guys gave to us and to each other. It makes me proud to be part of this community and to have this channel. I have one more bonus, bonus okay. takeaway. Okay. And that is, I'm a girl that likes to feel full. I got full tonight after, you know, after a fast, your stomach sort of shrinks, mm -hmm. especially after this long. So I got full, comfortably full after 10 wings. Could I have pushed past that, stretched my stomach, eaten those 20 wings like I normally do? Absolutely. But you know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to stay with the comfortably full feeling and move on. And I, I think that's an important thing. If you're somebody like me that wants to get full, using an intermittent fast to kind of reset you as far as what you can consume and maybe stick with that would be a good thing moving forward. So that's a great segue into what we're gonna be doing moving forward. So I don't know about you, I haven't talked to you about this, but yeah. my plan is for the next two weeks to eat as clean as I can, Yeah. to track the calories that I'm eating, but not 
track the calories that I'm eating so that I don't overeat. I want to see how much I'm consuming, but I my plan for the next two weeks is to eat Two meals a day, one or two meals a day. I'm going to change it up. I'm going to do intermittent fasting four to five days a week. Uh, one day, there may be like three meals in there where depending on like my schedule and stuff like that. Sure. But I'm going to, I'm going to eat one or two meals a day for the most part until I'm comfortably full, regardless of how many calories that is. All right. So one day I may eat 1,500 calories in a meal and another day it may be 3,000. But I'm going to stick to super clean food with the exception of maybe a bar on the way to a game. Because on my days of the games, I am not going to eat before the game. I, I run too many miles. I will get sick. And so I will use a bar. But I'm going to really, I'm not going to count my calories as far as like, you could only have 2,000 calories for the day. Right. I'm going to eat as much as it takes to get comfortably full, but then track my calories just to see where am I at. And at the end of two weeks, I want to see what the result of that is. Because coming off of this fast, like you're cleaned out. Like you've got, first of all, you're cleaned out inside. There is nothing left in there. And you're also like cleaned out. Like if you had leftover carbs, if you had inflammation, that is all gone. So this is a good time to really test and go, well, was it water weight? Was, you know, obviously you're always going to have to worry about electrolytes, but I'm curious, like if, what if one day I eat 4,000 calories, but I eat it, that's what took me to get comfortably full and I eat it in the meal. Does that impact me? But I need, you can't do it over two days or a week. I feel like two weeks, probably a month would be better, but I'm gonna do two weeks. And along with that, I'm not going to eat past eight o'clock. If I get home and I haven't you, had Lord. a chance to eat, so if I have a game and my game doesn't get out till eight o'clock, I'm just not eating. I yeah. will just make that a 24 hour day and then tomorrow I'll have two meals. But I think this eating where I go really all day late. because I'm really busy and I'm eating at 1030 at night, I don't think that that is helping me, even if I haven't had all my calories for the day. I think that's a really good policy. My, my goal moving forward is definitely to eat super clean, not to have like the keto snacks right now, just, you know, everything's cleaned out. So I kind of want to keep it clean. It's just mm -hmm. like when you clean your house, sort of like, can everybody just keep it clean for just a little bit? So I want to keep it clean. And yeah, my goal was also to have my meal in a very um, specific window. I'm still kind of working out in my mind what that window will be, but definitely the cutoff will be before before eight o'clock and the most important thing is to change it up don't do the same thing every day i think one of our biggest problems has been over the last two and three years we've done the same thing day to day to day to day and your body gets that routine and then as soon as you break that routine it's like whoa 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 let me start storing so i think it's yeah. much better if that's why i said we're gonna i'm gonna intermittent fast four or five days a week one day it may be OMAD, one day it may be two day, two meals. It's going to depend on how I feel for the day instead of having this hard and fast rule. You're not allowed to eat before 2 o'clock. You're only allowed to have two meals or you're only allowed to have one meal. I'm going to go by what my body tells me. And that's not to say we're not going to have any keto snacks. We will. We may have a piece of keto chocolate or a serving of keto ice cream. But our serving even got to the point where it was two servings. And I think we need to even cut that back to one serving but if i you know have an eating window of let's say two o'clock to eight o'clock or four o'clock to eight o'clock or whatever that eating window is if when my eating window opens i'm not hungry i'm not pushing it right and that's, that's what i'm talking about changing it up listen to your body yeah if i'm not hungry just wait it's yeah. okay i'm still gonna get to eat don't don't panic rachel well, guys, that's our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section what your results of your fast are. If you had any takeaways from them. Yes. Please do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. And until next time. Bye. bye.